when traveling through France, <laughs> I really got into trying out all of the tartans. And tartan is basically a fancy word for something underneath pastry. <laughs> flipped it onto a plate. Traditionally they were apple, like apple or fruit. I'm going to make this delicious savoury tartartan using Borg's puff pastry and some delicious summer vegetables. That sounds absolutely incredible. Good thing you like the vegetables, Linton, because <laughs> I'm going to get you to chop them. Chop, look chop. These, look at these little guys. Yeah. These little courgettes or zucchinis. You know, really nice. When you're at the market, try and look for different varieties. Like the mm. old greenies are good as well. Mm. If you see yellow ones, get yellow ones. These little light green ones, Lebanese ones are delicious. Top and tail, lengthways of zucchini, and I want them in discs. Rounds for the, okay. Rounds for the eggplant. And I've got a really special little tartartan dish here, where you cook it in the dish, and then you put the pastry on top, and then you serve it on this nifty plate, which I'll bring out later. So it's a ceramic dish. So you pop it onto low heat at the beginning. Kind of get a little bit of olive oil. But if you want to make it really Frenchy, slug in some butter as well. <laughs> Yum. I want to start off with the eggplant because the eggplant takes a bit more time to cook than the zucchini. So you can see where I'm going here. So we're going to saute off all of the vegetables in okay. batches. As I cook off each batch of zucchini and eggplant, I will season it a little bit. You've got some nice burnish on them. Yeah. Is that an important part when you're making the tartar time? Well, because we're not cooking in a caramel, we won't get that real caramelly sauce. So mm. I want to have a bit of burnish on the vegetables so that when we flip it over, it's got some great colour. Just give it a quick rub over just to make sure there's no bits stuck on. Yep. Give it a little rub. Now it's time to construct our tartar tan. So we want a little bit of olive oil on the bottom again, so you pass mm -hmm. the olive oil. And can you slice those tomatoes for me? I think I would like to have the eggplant on the top of the tartar tan. So we're going to just pop in the eggplant, find the nice attractive pieces, mm -hmm. and we're just going to layer these back into the pan. It is off, but it's just retaining a bit of heat. And then we're going to layer up, layer the vegetables, and dot in the thyme and the cream cheese, and also the crushed garlic. Oh, we'll put in some thyme now. Can you get the garlic crusher yep. for me? And we're gonna crush over some garlic now. So it's about layering up, making it pretty, a bit of thyme, two garlics. Because they'll Two. become yeah. sweet and sweet. roasty. How long does this go in the oven for? Half about, hour? Yeah, half hour to 40 minutes. You don't want to rush it. You want to have that really nice burnish on the puff pastry. And the vegetables all nice and cooked down. Really, really nice. Now we're going to sprinkle some chives over. Gives it that nice onion flavour. Yep. Garlic and onion, the basis of so many savoury dishes. How good's that looking? Yeah, it already looks great. Yeah. Now we're going to dot over some cream cheese. I just had cream cheese in the fridge today, but you can use any of your favourite cheese. And that's the great thing about this summer mm. vegetable tart. It's kind of what you have in the fridge. You could use pumpkin in there, yeah. beetroot. So this is the plate you flip on, then you flip around, and we're going to serve it on this plate. So if you can cut out some pastry just to fit the circle of that plate, then okay. you can tuck it in like a little blanket. Okay. Great. I'm going to put in the tomatoes and one more layer of the sautéed vegetables and then paste it on into the oven, good to go. Look at that. So good and it smells so yummy. And the great thing about this, pop the plate on. That's something that everyone struggles with, the tartar tan. You're trying to balance it all. So good. And like you just clip it together with your fingers. Whoop! <laughs> now this is the moment of truth. Is it going to come out? <laughs> Give it a little rub for good luck. I'll blow on it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, hey! Yes! Oh, one piece. A few little chives. A few little chives on top. Freshen it up. But how good is this? It's a classic. The tartar tan is so good because you have that crispy pastry underneath and packed full of delicious summer vegetables. It's a perfect way to spend a summer afternoon with your best friend. Eat this. The closest thing to France you're going to get without being there. Pretty good. <laughs>